1980s Vega 240 Soviet radio. Can you tell it's 1980s? I mean, this is just like cheesoid to the max. Anyway, let's diagnose this. This is a uh, long wave broadcast band in four meters. Of course, our FM band in the United States is in the three meter range. This is what, yeah, 65 to 74. I don't know, maybe you could tweak it or re rewind the coils to make it. Yeah, AM and 4 meter uses two integrated circuits. It takes batteries that are smaller than uh, double A's. And here's a look at the inside. They were starting to use foreign made capacitors by then. Well, they get, there's a few here. These are the Soviet ones. Is that in a socket? No. It uses a uh, FET front end. Uses two ICs. I guess these are the coils here for the. Uh, that, that that actually looks like it's. Is that a? Is that like a, a permeability squally sprinkler? Let me see. So when you tune it, yeah. When you tune it, that roto tweebulates up. So you're adjusting the cores in and out of that thing, just like a car radio. How cool. So this, this moves these slugs up and down within that. You might be able to tweak that and get it into the bottom part of the FM band. Well, let's see what it does. Got a little... This should work very hot. This should be pretty hot. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with this. I can't get these ICs and that's really all it uses. can't get these parts anymore it's actually tuning if the tuning capacitor is any good. So this thing, the IC, drives directly out through a capacitor into a coil than the speaker. 
Okay, so using the capacitor wizard, I went through and checked all the electrolytics. And this one right here is pretty dead. And that comes off of pin 10 of the IC, which is grounded through the electrolytic. Let's bypass that, jump it, and see what we get. Wow, that's a one microfarad. And it dials it right in, it brings it right in. Wow, is that simple? I'll tell you, that thing really makes this stuff easy. You know, and it would have automatically thought the IC was bad. New capacitor is in. What's interesting is that was not the original solders. Um, so I don't know if this had been replaced before or what. Just looks so primitive the way it's built. So anyway, we should have good tunage now. Let's see. Is that L.A. Oldies? God, this this thing with this string is impossible to tune. It's horrible. You have ever thought about remodeling your bathroom, but we're worried it would take too long or cost too much. Then stop worrying. Right now, to or go to oding.com to find out more about this. Things impossible to tune the stretchiness of this damn cord. What if you can have the low interest rate of a 10 year loan with the low payment of a 30? Very hard to tune. The hell is this? The hell is this? of public safety risk. It's unknown at this time what drove the violence. I mean, it sounds it's good and it, it's and clean. Not been able to establish a motive. But the Masters in Augusta, the leaders are on the back nine in the final round okay. as a former winner of the... So it's picking up an image on FM. Little Zeppelin. MJ So those are like images So this really reminds me of those GE Integrated circuit based radios. They were black and they were square. They were a little bit taller than this They came out around the same time mid to late 80s and they were so popular They were ev everywhere. I think I have a couple of them. It's probably my first radio that I would take with me was one of those old GE's and they're really a, a city radio a high signal strength we'll put this in the car and test this out on the next desert run but the sloppy tuning the the stretchy tuning string 
you know, it, it really has a much better controlled feel, with, especially with AM, well, with all of them, when the knob is actually directly connected to the tuning capacitor. Here you have the knob over here, and you have a big, long, stretchy string, and you have the, the tuning capacitor and, and permeability thing for FM over here. It's just not... It's just not good control. You're too isolated from a critical adjustment. Anyway, um, I guess I could get some AA batteries and beat them with a hammer and shrink them down to fit. In April 2020, I was contacted by a viewer who was a technician at a rehearsal studio here in Los Angeles. Keep in mind, COVID had just pretty much hit the United States and the lockdowns had probably been implemented, oh, a month earlier. The owner of the rehearsal recording studio didn't see a way forward with the lockdowns, so he decided he was going to close up shop, sell the building, liquidate, and wrap it up. Looking back two years later, I realized what a brilliant decision this was. It's like this guy almost had inside knowledge of what was to come. The technician being a viewer reached out and said that he had a lot of stuff there, a lot of parts and tools and test equipment that I might want because they were liquidating everything and that I should come down and help myself. And so I did and I got some video with my phone and um, I just thought about this looking back two years later. Of course, we're kind of maybe have a little bit of our freedoms back now. Anyway, I'm going to share that video. Uh, never before seen of a place that's gone. And it's kind of sad. How long until you think it's all going to be gone? End of May. Sit on it for a month, yep. and then whatever. Surprised they haven't taken a truck and broken the front door down to get this out right here. Incredible. So do we know any of these people? The platters? That sounds... Interesting. This is a vintage instrument repair workshop. And this is a victim of COVID. Businesses dropped off and not sure when it will return. 
course, people aren't doing any gigs right now, and we don't really know how long it'll be until people do gigs. So all of this is going to go away. Sorry for the bad video with a little tiny flashlight and a phone. Workbench. The virus is really reshaping certain elements of uh, operations of certain things. Of course, gigs and shows being one of the big nightclubs, bars, uh, studios, all of that. Concerts, big venues, movies, anything to deal with, you know, entertainment is uh, highly affected by this. So anyway, I'm going to take a look through a little bit of this and see if there's a few things that I could use. The old receivers down there. And then of course the rest of it will probably go into the dumpster that signal tracer over there that might be a worthy addition Firestone. Firestone broadcast standard. It's just like an AA5, but it's uh, over here we have a German receiver. A little, I guess that would be a little f tube amp. Some more radio chassis, another tube amp like spring reverbs resistors Snake for the probably the mixing console. More resistors. Jeez. It's a whole electronic repair shop going in the recycle bin. Do they let people smoke in here? It's got that smoky gig bar room flavor thing going on that's hard to uh, 